<laughs> You're so surprised. <laughs> Manhattan. Oh my God, every place I go. Uh, give me your, you have to give me your name and where you're Dave from. Dave Seifman, uh, close. I'm a good friend of Mr. Robbins. Uh, why do you show up here? You, you talked about Albany. Uh, this has nothing to do with Albany. Oh, it does. It certainly does. This is just a, a, a shadow, if you want to call it, or, or a reflection of what, exactly what we have in Albany. And all the good reasons that I can point out why we need term limits in Albany are the same good reasons here. We have the people who start to attain too much power and they forget about the people they represent. That's, what, that's what's wrong in Albany today. I mean, term limits is a, is a poster for everything that's wrong in our government today. You know, seniority, power, three men in a room, all these cliches that we've, we've heard over the years, all of that comes from the idea and the, and the concept of representing the people. How long should we let an individual represent in a specific office the people's will? Eight years, sufficient. Let them do their thing, go on. If they're capable, they'll go on to another office. I'm if, sure you're aware that Mayor Bloomberg changed the city's term limits law, and he's now serving his third term. Do you think that was a mistake on his part? Well, you tell me, okay? You, you have a mayor, and, and you, he went through a process, and you changed the process. I wouldn't have voted for it. Right? Once you have a rule, you have to, everybody has to live by that rule, unless a great majority, and I would say a super majority of the people, agree. That's why I've, I said in Albany, our legislature should never be allowed to raise taxes unless they have at least 60% of the people voting in that direction. Passing, passing legislation to give, make him exempt is as wrong as as having no term limits in the first place. Would you it's say a, that, uh, Bob Hunley, WNYC, would you say that this is aggravated in the sense that voters approved term limits twice and then it was the council and mayor? I think the public is very confused. They're very confused over a lot of issues because they don't understand how these issues affect their lives. I think a lot of people are very pleased with the way Michael Bloomberg has been running the city. Okay, and they think that that has something to do with how many terms he should be allowed to, 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 to stay there. Uh, I mean, you, when you're pleased with something generally, uh, you're very, you're, you don't necessarily inform yourself of the downside of, of changing that rule. The downside is a bad guy, okay, uh, somebody that, that, that isn't paying attention to the, to the people. Obviously, Mr. Bloomberg has, has, has no, no motivation whatsoever to be stealing from the people, as many of these people we have in Albany are doing today. But, but term limits... Uh, I felt it was important. I think your original question was, why am I here today? I'm here because this, this issue is important all across our state. And what New York does, it seems like the rest of the state picks up. So I, I'm here because I think this issue uh, is much more important than a majority of the things that, that our, 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 in, our, our legislature, which is incapable of multitasking, okay, uh, 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 most of the things they discuss is irrelevant. This is a very, very relevant issue. And Sorry, it's very important. To Steve Levy took some pretty tough shots at you this morning. You have anything to say about that? Uh, well, you know, Steve, Steve's there for, I mean, he has ambition. I'm there on issues, okay? I want change for the people. Steve wants to, wants to go over there and deal with Sheldon Silver and deal with all the nonsense. He thinks that it's a pretty boy type of thing that he, he has to do. I don't believe in that, all right? Steve Levy, uh, as far as I'm concerned, is a non-entity. He doesn't belong there. Our, our Mr. Cox probably doesn't belong there either. All right, not in the, certainly not in the job that he's in right now. Box Cox, okay, went off and, and he did his thing by by taking charge of the party when his job is to help manage the party. His job was to vet every possible candidate to his party committeemen. What did he do? He went totally against the process, and he endorsed a candidate. Now he's divided his party, he's done a tremendous injustice to him, all because he's got this air about him that he knows best. I think the party's going to let him know that he doesn't know best. All right, Carl. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much.